Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Beer Views back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at is from Commonwealth Brewing Company. This is the Pink Fluffy Unicorns. It is a pink guava triple IPA. Clocks in at 10% alcohol by volume. Family owned and operated... Commonwealth Brewing, Commonwealth Brewing Company is out of Pleasure House Road, Virginia Beach, Virginia. So, Virginia Beach. Uh, this can is courtesy of Mr. Josh Abrams. Uh, we were able to meet up not long ago, do, do a couple reviews together. He brought me all kinds of great local Virginia beers that I can't get down here. That was very nice of him. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to trying this one. Josh Abrams doesn't have a YouTube channel, but he is on Instagram, so I'll post the link to his Instagram down in the description below so you guys can go check him out. He posts all kinds of beer stuff over there. So let's uh, go ahead and get into this beer and see what we're working with. 10% guava. Triple IPA. Okay. That's a good looking beer. Nice and hazy. Oh, I can smell the guava already. Yeah, wow. Very upfront with the guava aroma. It just smells like guava juice. Maybe a little bit of bready malt character coming through, like some wheat bread. Mostly just that guava, though. It doesn't smell boozy at all at 10%. Not getting any alcohol whatsoever. Love the appearance, too. Just super juicy looking. It is opaque. Can't see through it when I hold it up to the light. Don't see any sediment or anything floating around in the beer. So even though it is opaque, there's... No big chunks or anything like that in it. Man, it looks good. Nice uh, fingers worth of a relatively creamy looking white head. So other than the guava and a little bit of that maybe wheat malt character coming through on the aroma. Yeah, I'm not, not getting anything else. It smells absolutely delightful. I am salivating. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Mmm. So the guava is coming through right up front. You do get some nice bready malt character. Once you get through that initial guava explosion, you get some nice wheat bready malt character in the middle of the sip. It's got almost like a creamy mouthfeel to it. Doesn't say anything about lactose or flaked oats or anything like that, but it's got a very creamy easy going mouthfeel for such a high alcohol beer. I mean, 10% is no joke. Mm. That guava, man. That guava is just very, very nice. It's pretty straightforward, though. It's not super complex. You're not getting a lot of other fruit flavors. You're just getting that guava. You're getting a little bit of wheat malt character in the middle of the sip. The finish is relatively juicy. It's not super drying or anything because of all of the guava, I guess, that they put in this beer. The carbonation is on the high end of light, getting up towards medium. The body is it's relatively light for 10%. I guess it's on the low end of medium, but it's definitely not a heavy body beer. And at 10%, you're not getting any alcohol burn or any warming effect going down the throat that would indicate that this is a high alcohol beer. So this could be a very dangerous product. If you just gave this to somebody and you didn't tell them how strong it was and they drank one down, they'd probably be asking for another one. And then they'd be feeling the effects after that. This is just dangerously smooth. Man, I really appreciate this beer, Josh. Yeah, this is a this is a winner for sure. Really, really good stuff. Mm. 
just a delightful IPA. One of the better IPAs I've had in a while. Pink Fluffy Unicorns. If you guys can get Commonwealth Brewing Company beers and you like juicy, just nice, bold IPAs, this would be one to go for. Absolutely. You need to check this out. It is a winner. It is dangerously smooth and easy drinking for 10%. It's got tons of guava fruit flavor, just enough of that bready malt character to let you know that you're drinking a beer. It's got a crisp, easy going, you know, mouthfeel and finish, and that alcohol is just non existent. It is just it's dynamite. Dynamite! I'm going to give this a 98 out of 100. It is that good, folks. 98 out of 100. Yeah. Definitely check this beer out if you have the opportunity to get it in your area. I would highly, highly recommend it. So that'll do it for this beer review, guys. Thanks again to Josh Abrams. Be sure to go check out his Instagram link in the description below. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and we'll see you all in the next one. Until then, cheers, everybody.